Anchors up. Sales at full. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing all right, Jared. How are you doing today? Uh, you know, uh, we got one episode down. We totally don't record this on the same. Like I like, we don't change our shirts. It's not a secret, right? We just we turn we stop recording the Monday episode. We start recording the Tuesday episode. Like we've never we've never hidden that. So um, I was tired at the beginning of last episode. So I'm even more tired now. All right. Well, let's well let's get right into it. This is our collegiate chaos episode. This is week three, where we look beyond the Ohio State game from last weekend and talk about some interesting games or maybe even some team chaos that um, took place from last weekend's games. So let's not waste any time here, Jared, and let's go right into it. Now, before we get like all the way into it, I just want to point out that I'm still winning the salute picks. Thank you very much. Thanks for interrupting, Jared. Uh, <laughs> Anytime. Purdue and, Syrac- Purdue and Syracuse. I like this to interrupt. Our- it's fine. This was one of our sloop picks here, I think, was it? Yes. Maybe? yes this it was, was the bastard child, the forgotten son of the uh, of the sloop picks this week. The <sighs> I guess we'll pick this one game of the sloop picks this week. Purdue ended up losing this one by three points, 32 to 29, which if I remember, I'm going to I'm going to um, look real quick here. And the Purdue scored like. A bunch of points at the in the fourth quarter they both did I, I, there I, was only neither of them were in double digits at the end of the third quarter it was something like six to nine i think nice um it was something like that yeah austin confirms it was six to nine yeah so wow. yeah, all, yeah almost all the points were scored in the fourth quarter um because that's that's kind of is that just kind of how college football works nowadays if, you, if you're happy state <laughs> or Purdue or Syracuse, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just I was hoping to see Purdue win that one there, but it is what it is. Uh, sticking with the Big Ten here, the uh, Hoosiers win in overtime against Western Kentucky, the Hilltoppers. Why, why to 30. The Big Ten... The Big Ten is garbage this this year. This is a trend that we're going to see throughout these um, these games here, Jared. Yeah, like Michigan hasn't played anyone with a pulse. And like I know Ohio State just played uh, Arkansas State and and Toledo, but Arkansas State and Toledo would demolish all of the teams that Connecticut, uh, uh, UConn, um, that, uh, Hawaii, Hawaii, all of the teams that Michigan has played like, yeah, it's that none of these teams, even Alito would win the big 10 West Zach. That's not true, but man, it's closer to being they, true than I'd like to acknowledge. They, they would win. a They would win a few games. <laughs> They'd be doing they better are, than Northwestern. Oh gosh. Uh, that, that that's coming up here, but yeah, you were mentioning. I mean, Michigan beat Kentucky fifty nine to nothing. Um, in a in a in a really really bad Connecticut team here, and you mentioned it here, Jared. Northwestern. God. Losing to the the uh, team of Southern Illinois. At home, 31 to 24. All right. No one in the chat. Look, what's the mascot? Kyle, you don't look either in, in case you <laughs> haven't already looked. looked. Okay. Already looked. What, what's what's the mascot for Southern Illinois? And if you if you know, you looked. <laughs> I'm looking at it and I don't even know. No, they are not the Huskies. Kyle, what the hell are they? I'm looking at it and I still don't know. The Seleucus? Saluki? The Seleucuses? I don't even know. It's an old dog breed, Austin says. 
there you go. Moving forward. Uh, Rutgers beats Temple. Um, kind of feels right when a Scarlet Knight uh, defeats a Temple. I feel like that's I feel like that's happened in many a video game. Mm hmm. Then that terrible joke is all I have to say about this. Other than the fact that no, Rutgers is still undefeated. Um, they are. And, you know, it's they they have they beat Boston College, right? Like, so that's a that's a decent win. It's by the way, mm -hmm. their their schedule to this point much tougher than Michigan's. Yes, it absolutely is. Rutgers is going to beat Ohio State this year in soccer. OK, in soccer. OK, I was, you know. You know, got to keep me on my toes, Austin. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Notre now, by the way, this this the Big Ten West sucks. Um, it's extending to future Big Ten West teams. As UCLA beats South Alabama by one point. Not Alabama. No. South Alabama. Yeah. Who knows what the, what's the mascot for South Alabama? Anyone in the chat know this one off the top of your head? No. Hot take. There will be no uh, the Jaguars. Austin did know that one. There will be no East West yeah. after the expansion. I agree. I didn't put this one in here and this is my fault, Jared, though, but uh, so, some some people in our in our chat here uh, really thought that Nebraska had a chance this last weekend. Um, I mean, a lot of people thought that they had a chance against the spread, at least. <laughs> yeah, not not so much. Nebraska, uh, they they put up 14 points. Uh, they lost to Oklahoma 49 to 14. Yeah, now, now that now the question is. Who's who's the worst team in the in the Big Ten now? Is it Northwestern or is it Nebraska? Yeah, well, they played right. Like we we know that one already. All and right, by the um, way, Austin says it's Indiana. Actually, mm -hmm. uh, that's the conversation. Is it Nebraska or is it Indiana? That's the convo. That's the convo. All right. Notre Dame, we, we, we talked about... Wins uh, one! Notre, yep, they win one. Hey, These, by the way, got, are also future Big Ten schools. <laughs> yes. Notre Dame pulls off a win against Cal, 24-17. to 17. Now, we talked a little bit real briefly in our previous episode about Notre Dame here. Notre Dame's defense, pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Offense? Offense? Mm -hmm. Not not so much. They they put up twenty four points against a not so great cow team this last weekend. Uh, I got it. Buckner got being lost for Notre is is huge for Notre Dame. Um, their backup is very bad. Yeah, Notre Dame, yeah, Notre Dame I agree. Threw, Notre Dame threw for a hundred and fifty yards and rushed for uh, under 150 yards. So they had they had less than 300 yards of offense in this game. How did they get 24 points? <laughs> uh yeah, you, had... Austin, you did say that they'd finish something like 7 and 5. Um yeah. I mean, of course B Buckner being gone doesn't help that, but even before that Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Minnesota, Jared. Minnesota, another team. I'm, I'm verifying before I actually uh, uh, put my own tongue here, but um, yeah, Minnesota, another team who's undefeated here. They beat Colorado 49 to 7. We're going to be the shining gem of the Big Ten West at the moment. No, I'll just, I, that's, um, that's it. That's I, my I'm, analysis. I'm glad to see um, Ibrahim. Um, back in stride here, he he rushed for over 200 yards and three touchdowns in this game. Averaged 8.8 .8 yards per carry. I think the big I think the big story here, in my opinion, though, is their defense. Even that that seven points by Colorado came in junk time. It was, yeah, yeah. It's uh, Minnesota. Uh, Ibrahim, of course, is great, but I think the story with Minnesota right now is their defense. 
Mm-hmm. They've only let up 17 points all season. They pitched a shutout against New Mexico State. Western Illinois, they let up 10. And then against Colorado, 7. Not, not the greatest opponents, but, you know, 17 points in three games. Hey, that's, that's a good sign for Minnesota. But they uh, they do they do start their Big Ten as well as everybody else. Their Big Ten um, schedule next week. They, they go on the road to East Lansing. We'll see how they do against Sparty next weekend. But, yeah, good start for Minnesota. I, I think they slaughter Sparty. I think so, too. But we'll we'll save that for uh, Friday's episode. Maybe. Right, um, maybe. Probably. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. 66-7 against New Mexico State. Yeah, and New, New Mexico State's uh, a pretty bad group of five team um wisconsin already has uh what is in my opinion a pretty ugly loss for this season uh which Mm -hmm. i think is incredibly disappointing uh i know i like i know washington state's supposed to be one of the better pac-12 north teams better ish top half um but what is funny is that northwestern is in first place in the big 10 west technically i mean that's (laughs) technically Where's 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 the you're technically right, which is the best kind of right gif from Futurama, um, which is the best type of correct. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, it's it, it is what it is. Uh, we'll we'll see. Wisconsin. We'll talk about Wisconsin on Thursday. All right. And I think one of the biggest surprises here uh, from this weekend, Oregon, uh, just laying it Demolished. down to BYU. Yeah, 41 to 20. Was not expecting this. I thought I thought it was going to be a lot better game from from BYU, but man, hats off to Oregon to uh, turn it around after their humiliating loss in week one. I took BYU in this game. Um, Me too. Um I I'm not surprised that Oregon won. Um, I don't remember exactly what I said on the slope picks, but I wanted to I think I thought it was like a 50-50-ish game or that maybe I was giving BYU a slight edge to win the game. I am surprised that Oregon ran BYU off the field, which is what yes. happened. Yes. Penn State heading down to SCC country and beating Speaking up of running a team off the field. Penn State showing that Big Ten speed over Auburn. 41 to 12. Yeah, it, it was it was embarrassing. Like Penn State humiliated Auburn. Yeah, um, it was. Penn, Penn State had their backups in in the third quarter. That's how bad, bad it was. When was the last time Auburn hosted a. Oh, yeah, they, they, they did this on the uh, Aflac question. Yeah, I know. I because I remember because we watched it. When together. was the last time? Wasn't this their first time? I thought this was their first time. Yeah, sort of. They technically hosted Ohio State back in like the teens or the twenties or maybe the thirties. Thirty one, hosted Ohio State in thirty one, but it wasn't actually on campus. Yeah, it was in Montgomery. And they did exactly. host Maryland at one point, but they were still in the ACC at that point, so it doesn't count. All right. Uh, Appy State. Appy State pulling out miracles again here. Hail Mary, Hail Mary um, prayer got answered. They pull off the win against Troy, 32 to 28. It was miracle spectacular. In, the, the, the miracle in Boone, North Carolina. Uh, Austin says the Mountaineer miracle, which sounds much better. Um, the, (laughs) one of the better executed. Yeah. I'm a big fan of alliteration too, Austin. Uh, the, one of the better executions of a hail Mary I've ever seen the Troy defensive player did what you're supposed to do. He jumped up and he tried to knock the ball down. One of the appy statewide receivers saw exactly what he was doing, ran in front of the defensive back, 
caught the ball before it hit the ground, and another one of the wide receivers for Happy State, with zero hesitation, immediately turned around, executes a perfect seal block, seals off literally everyone else, and puts a he just creates a wide open lane for the original Appy State wide receiver to just run in untouched, touchdown, wins the game. One of the one of the best executed Hail Marys I've ever seen. By the way, uh, if I can jump back to Notre Dame real quick. Almost lost on a Hail Mary. They Almost yeah. lost on a Hail Mary. And I'm sorry. I have to point this out on the week in which Marcus Freeman converts to Catholicism um, would have been OT, but still, you don't know that they could have gone for two on the week that Marcus Freeman converts to Catholicism almost loses his fifth straight head coaching head. Well, his head coach job period. Fourth. Fourth straight. Fourth straight. Apologies. Fourth straight head coaching job, uh, both in total, but also as the Notre Dame head coach to a Hail Mary. The the irony there would have been thick. And the team that beat Notre Dame last week. Lost to the Falcons of Bowling Green in overtime. Bowling Green. That doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't bode too well for Notre Dame fans. The team that beat you at your place lost to Bowling Green. In a classic Mac matchup. Yes, of course. Classic. Uh, let's see another close one here. Wake Forest one point victory over Liberty. Woof. <laughs> that's that's uh, a. But but yeah, Wake Forest is uh, has an important game coming up this week. Maybe they're preparing for that. Maybe, maybe. Kansas Does Wake Forest upset Clemson this week? Austin asks. Tune in on Friday. Austin's even still Austin's still doing advertising from the live chat. Hey Jared, Kansas is three and zero. Oh. Three and zero oh after they yeah. beat Houston forty-eight to thirty. Yeah, is, um, is Kansas a, a real football team this year? We're gonna find out when they play Duke. Eh. <laughs> uh, Zach says Kansas will be three and nine. You you greatly overestimate the the, the Big Twelve or whatever's left of it. Mm-hmm. How many points have they scored? I'm I'm curious here because I think they scored a bunch of points this year already. Yeah, fifty six points, fifty five points, forty eight points. Are they an offensive juggernaut like they are, like they're supposed to be in the Big 12? <laughs> right up until Nebraska seals their head coach. Uh, I guess, yeah. Um, Austin wants, Wolf- wants you to uh, wants to know if you know who the head coach of, of Kansas is. I'll give you a hint. He has a famous last name. I can't I can't think of it offhand. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, a famous last name to uphold, if you will. Uh, he's he's a he's a stoop. Oh, oh, wait, a minute. who's I thinking of? Dumbass. Yeah, that's fair. Who's I thinking of? Where, where's where's the where's the young stoops coaching? I'm thinking of Mark Stoops. Oh, he's at. Kentucky. I'm confusing my basketball schools. That's what confusing my Kentucky's and my Kansas eye. Yeah, KU and UK. That was an, it was an easy, that was an easy mistake. If you, you had a <laughs> you cuck. That joke only works in print, but it's still fantastic. <laughs> All right. The Wolf Pack beats Texas Tech 27 to 14. 
I'm I'm still expecting many good things from North Carolina State. Putting up 27 points to Texas Tech is not enough in my eyes. Uh, Zach says Bob will take the Nebraska job you watch. He's already publicly come out and said no. Um, I had Bob Stoops as like a possibility. Um, and coaches have said no, publicly said no to jobs that they've ended up taking in the past. So, mm -hmm. you know, take that for whatever it's worth. He must be really, really invested in the AFL. I think he's still technically a head coach in the AFL, maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah, here's the thing about North Carolina State. And while I love their defense, Kyle, do you know who? Since since we're USFL, isn't it? I, I don't know. Fuck if I know. Um, it, it could be the XFL for all I know. Um, do you know who the offensive coordinator is at, at North Carolina State right now? I do. Yeah, their offense isn't going to get any better. <laughs> Ohio State fans, Ohio State fans know who I'm talking about. Yes, it's it Tim. Is. Yeah, it's Tim Beck. Yep. All right, uh, Arkansas, Jared. Man, Team Chaos. Team Chaos really reached out for this one and almost yeah. had it. But Missouri State was up 27 to 17 going into the fourth quarter. Yeah. Well, into the fourth quarter. But Arkansas had a uh, had back to back um, good plays of um, really long pass and then a punt return touchdown and then then tacked on another touchdown and they very late into the game then. But Arkansas ended up winning 38 to 27 here. But Team Chaos yeah. about, about got this but, one here. But by the way, Kyle, I, I feel like you're underselling this as it was Missouri State. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I couldn't have told you Missouri State were the Bears until, I mean, because I, I, I see it, it's right here in the show notes. I, I see it. If you if you if you'd have asked me, Jared, who's the mascot for Missouri State? I'd have been like the Tigers. <laughs> I mean, yeah, when, when in doubt, pick the Bulldogs or the Tigers. Maryland, Jared. Beats up S or well, not beats up, but um pulls out a win against SMU 34 to 27. I remember remember looking at the stats for this game. And young, young two or the Wildcats, to be fair. Thank you, Austin. Yes, yeah. I forgot about the Wildcats. Yeah, young Tua uh, playing playing pretty well right now. He he had over 200 yards here. He had a pair of touchdowns, and he he rushed for over 50 yards in this game. I Maryland is another team who's um, who's undefeated this year. Um, do we do we expect a lot more from from Maryland here? And we'll see what happens when they play competition. Yeah, I'm I'm looking here. I'm trying to pull up their scores real quick here. Yeah, so they played, yeah, Buffalo, Charlotte, and SMU. And oh, they they get to go to Ann Arbor this weekend. You know, right, that's um, a team with a pulse. We'll see how we're I was about to say we'll learn, but like neither of these teams have really uh, so I don't know what we're going to learn, but it might be fun well, to watch regardless. Speak, speaking of team without a pulse, Sparty. Sparty went from ranked 11th to unranked. Can I just want to point that out? Maybe because they're not in the SCC. Kyle, that was supposed to be the subtext. I don't care. I'm saying it. That was care. supposed to be the subtext. You're, you're, you're speaking care. the subtext out loud. I don't care. Deservingly so, to be honest. Eh. I don't. I mean, so. like, I, well, I don't know. I mean, you look at this final score. They lost by eleven. It was worse than that. Like, they lost by more than eleven points. I don't give a fuck what the score says. Um, yeah, they were absolutely dominated. But also, Texas A and M should have had that happen to them as well. Yeah, one hundred percent. Um, then Texas A and M's ranked again because they beat. Miami, who has somehow lost that game, but is still ranked. Um, they they choose jerseys. Polls are stupid. They pick jerseys first. How Texas A&M and Miami are ranked and Appy State isn't. 
That's all I'm going to say. I mean, they would have ranked this next team, even even if they um, would have lost here. But they, they, they moved up unranked to, to 11th and then lost, and they almost lost to South Florida here. Speaking of teams that shouldn't be ranked here, <laughs> Florida barely beat out uh, South Florida 31 to 28. Yeah. Austin says they yeah. should have lost, and yes, they should have. They, they should have. Yeah. Well, where, where was it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, South Florida was up, and uh, twenty-eight, twenty-four, and Florida scored with about five and a half minutes left. Yeah. Yeah, Florida uh, does not deserve to be ranked either. No. You mentioned Texas A&M beating Flo- Miami, uh, USC. Beats out Fresno State 45 to 17. I'm surprised USC let up that much points. I mean, you know, this US. No. Kyle, everything you remember about Oklahoma, apply it to Fres or to USC. All right. Yeah. It's, 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 uh, Fresno has an awesome offense, uh, Austin says. Okay. USC is Oklahoma now. They just added some yellow to the uniform. They're they're Oklahoma now. USC will lose a dumb game at some point. Yes, they're Oklahoma. Do I have? To... <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna make the playoffs and lose in the first round. That's what USC is gonna do this year. They're Oklahoma. They're a pretty good team in a really shitty conference. They're Oklahoma. USC will be hosting like Colorado and somehow lose 38 21. Yeah. Extra maybe, fitting maybe considering we'll, Colorado used to be in the Big 12 because they're Oklahoma. Maybe, maybe we'll lose um game here that's in two weeks here against uh, Arizona State, who lost to East Eastern Michigan 30 to 21, which cost another coaching job. For Herm Edwards. I don't know how Herm Edwards was still fired. If I'm from being honest with you, after all of the scandal and shit that came out, um, I, how did Herm Edwards still have a job? I like Herm as a caster. He should go back to that. Yeah. A hundred percent. But like with all of the scandal and all of the cheating and all of the, how did he still have his job? How did I, because, I, you know, I didn't necessarily pay a ton, of ten, a ton of attention to Arizona State. But I remember at one point during the offseason, just sort of like, you know, going through a preview guide and just like, what? Why? Why is, is, is Herm Edwards still at Arizona State? Is that true? <laughs> By the way, I just saw that Leopold was the Wisconsin Whitewater guy. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Any other games that uh, piqued your interest here? Here's the games that I thought was at least something to talk about here. <laughs> any any other games that um, piqued your interest? Uh, I'm sure we missed one in there somewhere, but that's okay. What I miss needed a beat. Fear. Beer. That makes right, a lot well, more let's, sense. Let's, I pictured you eating a beat for a second. Uh, oh, yeah. Texas, uh, Texas uh, had a bad game against UTSA. Yes, Austin uh, Clemson had a bad game against Louisiana Tech. Um, I, I'm not impressed with anyone in college football right now outside of the top three. I'll say it. Right, Clemson's um, offense fail again? Absolutely. 100%. LSU right, beat Mississippi so- State too. Yeah, I, I don't care about either. I don't I don't care, I don't about, care either about either of those teams one. to be honest with you. I don't I don't I don't respect care about either of those teams. Bam is not top 15, you're fucking high. You're high. All right, let's now, get Bam is one of the top Jerry. 3 teams in the country. There are three top 3 teams in the country and then a bunch of garbo. There's some Garbo that's better than the other Garbo. But there's three te- 
three three teams in college football this year. All right, let's get into some questions here. Uh, Odin, what are you more shocked by, Sparty or Arkansas? Honestly, uh, probably Art. Yeah, probably Arkansas because Sparty was that we we mentioned it a number of times before the season started. Sparty was the unknown. Are we going to get a good Sparty this year, or is Sparty going to digress, digress from last year? We we just did not know. Yeah, and we still I didn't know up until la- this last weekend. Yeah, I, Kyle and I all off season said Sparty. I don't know. Like that was that was us all off season. So literally nothing Sparty could have done could have shocked us because we didn't have much in the way of expectations. Um, mm-hmm. Arkansas, I think, is kind of doing what I expected them to do. Um, I would have been shocked if they lost. I mean, I'm shocked that they struggled as bad as they did. They're currently the 10th best team in the country, according to the polls. I think that's pretty fair. Um, They have a really nice offensive line. They have a good running game. They have a pretty nice defense. I don't think that they have a quarterback that is going to be able to deliver in a big game. Um, I don't expect them to make the playoffs, but I expect them to finish second to Alabama in the Big Ten West. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Big Ten West, not. Excuse not me. Great SEC this year. West. SEC yeah. West. SEC West. Not not that great this year. All right. Uh, Buckeye Esquire. Can the world handle undefeated Rutgers coexisting with undefeated Kansas? Uh no. <laughs> no. God. <laughs> it's the end of the world. Q Q R E M. As we know it. <laughs> All right, Nomad, going along the same thing, Nomad says, is Kansas for real? Well, I mean, let them, let them play some real teams and and, and we'll talk. Um, I know Houston was supposed to be a pretty good um, group of five team, but I think this is already their second loss, if I'm not mistaken. I think they already lost one this year. Um, like it's this is great for Kansas. This is great for Rutgers because these are teams that would lose games like this in the past. 100%. Mm-hmm. 100%. But also like it's week three. It is. Uh, we mentioned it a little bit earlier, Jared, but Nomad wants uh has a question here about Minnesota. He says, with one of the most productive offenses in the country, how is Minnesota not ranked being undefeated at 3-0? and um, Well, that is they're a missing, fantastic they're, they're, they're missing question. They're missing a patch right here. They're missing a patch right here. A round, a round patch with three letters on it. Yeah. Um, that is a great question. How is Minnesota not ranked? Because there are some fucking garbage teams. Garbage teams. We've already talked about it. Miami, Texas A&M, Florida. Um, I mean, no no offense to Wake Forest, but they did just beat Liberty by one point. Um, and they're ranked 21st. There's, there's literally no reason why Minnesota shouldn't be ranked. And when you look at some of these other garbage teams that are currently ranked. There's no excuse for it. None. Mm -hmm. Yep. I agree. They'll be ranked after this week. Well, they, but they should be ranked right now. Yes. All right. uh, Austin with another question here is Bryce young being exposed for not having the offensive line wide receivers. He did last year. Is he overrated or underrated properly rated? Um, he, it, it's hard for any of uh, the all Alabama offensive lines, not playing well. Um, and it's honestly hard for any quarterback to perform in those circumstances. Um, I've not watched any of the Bama games that closely except the Texas game. Um, so just want to say that they gave him no time. He was yeah, rushed he, from the middle. He was rushed from the edges. Um, 
and he was inconsistent that game. He was at times really good and he was at times really bad. But that's what happens when you have that sort of pass rush in your face. Um, yep. he, he I think as picks. we get into the SEC schedule and I probably end up watching them more, I'll probably have a better opinion on that. But right now, I'm not sure, to be honest. Yeah, he had two picks in a sack in that game. And yeah, it didn't, didn't look like the um, his typical self here. But yeah, we'll we'll see here. I'm not not this week as they play. He played Vanderbilt, but the following week, the following few weeks, he'll he'll get he'll get tested here, maybe. All right, and last question from Austin again here: uh, What would need to happen besides USC and Clemson winning out to avoid what looks to be the obvious four making the playoffs? Now, Jared, Jared, and I agree with Jared. Mentioned there's the three teams. You got you got the top Austin. Three teams. Who's who's your fourth team, yeah. buddy? I don't, I don't think team. there's an obvious four. Michigan? No, no. Ohio State beats Michigan. I don't think the schedule's too... Yeah, but here they've played absolutely, literally nobody. I, I, I don't have any faith that they're going to be 11 and 1. I'm sorry, I don't see it. I, I'm still... I, I got on the Michigan hater train, and I'm not even just saying that as an Ohio State fan. Um, I just got on that Michigan hater train from the beginning of the season. It's cl- if it's a close loss to Ohio state, if they go 11 and one, but I just don't think that they will. I don't think that they're that good. These teams that they are have played so far are some of the worst teams in college football. I don't care if they're winning these games 49 to nothing. These are some of the worst teams in college football they've played so far. Hawaii has, I, I don't know, how many scholarship players is high, does Hawaii even have right now? Not a full one. They probably have an FCS level uh, number of scholarships right now. Actually, that they're actually using. Right, but they uh, don't have teams on their schedule that can beat them. They absolutely do. They'll drop a couple games during the Big Ten. Like, I just don't think that they're that good. Iowa, I, I maybe. Like Austin, Maryland, I like maybe. How, I like how I mean, Austin puts in here what needs to happen besides USC and Clemson winning out. I, I think I think you're you're missing out about um another ACC team that wins out would make it in. And there's a there's a there's a t- another team who who just had a good win this weekend that um that people in this chat chat absolutely love this quarterback and years past that's um doing pretty well up in the northwest. Phoenix. That that if if they if they if they do really well, if they do really well, they could they could win the pack the pac twelve. Your 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 favorite your favorite former Indiana. Uh, quarterback Austin. Wait a minute, he's actually saying Penix. <laughs> Listen, I don't care what anyone says. I don't believe in some sort of rise of Penix. Um, I'm I'm not expecting some sort of comeback story. All right. Uh, before we get the uh, chat um, more uh, uh, wild up, uh, yeah, too late, <laughs> too late. Uh, th- that is that is all. The they're questions. already hot and bothered, Kyle. I know they're, they're going know. at it hard down there. I know they are. Uh, that, that's all the questions we have here uh, for for this week of of chaos. Yeah, uh, Austin. Well, I mean, we'll we'll see as far as Michigan goes. I don't. I'm not. I've not. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. They will lose. Like, I think Penn State's better. I think Penn State's a straight up better football team than them. I don't even think that they. I don't even. I'm not even saying Penn State can win. I think Penn State's straight up a better football team. I think I think you're a bit blinded by the numbers that they're putting up against some of the worst competition, maybe the worst schedule in all of college football to this point. 
So is Michigan's. You think, you think Michigan's offense is good? You're talking about Michigan. Okay. I, I, I don't. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, it's just, it's hard to, it's hard to evaluate their defense when again, they've played, I think how, what has to be the worst schedule in college football right now has to be the worst schedule in college football right now. One thirty one of one thirty one. Like, yeah, I'm not even sure what metric is used there, but it has to be true. All right, Kyle, that's the end of the show. ESPN strength the schedule. Um, ESPN also doesn't think Minnesota should be ranked. So fuck ESPN. <laughs> it turned into a shit show a little bit. Uh, also a football reference. Yeah. Uh, oh, also football reference. Gotcha. So yeah, but, but it's true. It is just true. It's factually true. Even if it's not factually true, even if such things have to be boiled down to opinion at some point, it's still factually true. Anyway, that's the end of the show. Um, visit the sloopcast.com and find all of our stuff there, uh, including, uh, merch stores, all of our, all of our different pages, whether it be on YouTube or Instagram or, uh, TikTok or Twitter or wherever else you might want to find us. Uh, Kyle, where or what is in Kyle's corner this week? I don't really have anything else to be honest. <laughs> I mean, we, I think fine. I think we talked about I think we talked a lot about uh, pretty much everything that we wanted to cover. Uh, oh, Garrett Wilson. I know it's kind of a the double double stab here or however you want to look at it here. Garrett Wilson had a, had a good game this week. He had a good game this week. He, he had a pair of touchdowns. There you go. But, but it but it came at a cost of a Browns loss. Ah, uh, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, oh, and the, elf, the, and the Buc- Brownie and the Elf and couldn't and the, save Cleveland this week then. Yeah. And the Buckeyes open as a 16-point favorite. I saw seven. Wisconsin. I thought I saw seventeen. Oh, maybe it moved up. Maybe it moved up. It was. It it opened. It opened as a sixteen point favorite. Maybe it gone up to seventeen. And okay. I'm looking here. It also, just might depend upon the casino. Uh yeah, it's seventeen. I think it's seventeen right now. So, yeah. Again, might just depend upon the casino. I think that's. I think that's easy. I think that's easy money. A little taste of uh, Thursday's episode. Yeah. And Fridays. That's a little bit of both. All right, Kyle, that's the end of the episode. Um, Motherfolk is ending today's show. Um, that's it. That That's 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 my entire thought on that. So with all that being said, uh, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Motherfolk. <laughs>